Fifty years ago, many babies born with congenital heart defects were not expected to live into adulthood. But thanks to advances in medicine, most of these babies can now expect to live long, full lives. That's great news, but the problem is they sometimes don't get the medical care that they need. More from Mayo Clinic. When you watch Kira Ray move, you'd never guess she was born with a congenital heart defect. It's called as Tetralogy of Fallot. It's one of the most common occurring uh, uh, complex defects. Kira's heart had four abnormalities. The pulmonic valve was narrowed and there was a hole in the septum or wall between the right and left ventricles. Also, a main artery was in the wrong place. These issues caused her right ventricle to get thick because of all the extra pumping it had to do. At age four, Kira had surgery. She was considered cured. Then I started developing symptoms, uh, shortness of breath, uh, electrical conduction problems, uh, arrhythmias. It turns out she needed another valve replacement. The repaired valve started to leak. Dr. Keith Oaken says Kira was a victim of a common misperception. Of which is that she was cured um, uh, with, the, with the surgery that she had. That is rarely the case. Kira needs continuous lifetime care, but there are not many cardiologists trained to manage cases like hers. That's because until recently, most people with congenital heart defects did not survive into adulthood. So to make sure Kira stays healthy, she sees her regular doctor and experts at Mayo Clinic. Plus, she's doing whatever she can to keep her heart strong. And exercise is important to Kira, not only because it's heart healthy, but also because it helps her feel normal. It makes me feel great to be able to keep up with the rest of the adults in the class. Kira, who is married with two children, is very involved in promoting awareness about adult congenital heart defects. And Dr. Oaken says the best way for people with adult congenital heart defects to get the care they need is to continue seeing their doctors, but also to see an expert in that condition. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.